Good morning friends. Today's thought is challenges are a part of our life. Overcoming them makes you a stronger person. I repeat, challenges are a part of our life. Overcoming them makes you a stronger person. Well friend, there is no denying the fact that life is full of challenges. Every day we have to face one or the other challenge. But what is more important? Just think of that. It is very important to, I mean, overcome the challenge. Say, for instance, when you get up and go for your office or when you start working, you may face, you know, uh, the problem in computer, link failure, server, I mean, slow, and many other problems. You may get late to your office, but you have to reach by hook or crook. You have to finish your work. You have to work in any condition. Adverse conditions make you, I mean, more stronger than favorable conditions. So never try to always, I mean, expect that there will be a favorable condition all the time. You may have unfavorable conditions also. See the, see the example of the soldiers posted at the very rarest and very toughest areas, you know, like Kargil and many other high hills areas. They are, I mean, prepared for... I mean, coping up with the challenges at a high hill or sometimes the mountainers face the climatic adverse conditions. But they, do they stop climbing the mountain? No. They prepare themselves to face the adverse situation and continue their work. So persuasion of the work, continuation of the work, even in adverse circumstances, is how to overcome the challenges. No one in the world is without a challenge. Even a person who is running a multinational company is also having the challenges of competing with other companies because everybody wants that his company should be profitable. So there is a competitive environment even in the business world. And this is the same condition with an ordinary human being and students and competitive candidates also. You may start with thinking how to crack any exam. You may start thinking with how to overcome the difficulties of finishing the conceptual learning and making well, I mean, prepared for any competitive exam. But while you are thinking and doing, there is a difference. When you start doing, Challenges will ultimately be overcome. But when you see, just sit and think, I don't think you will be able to overcome the challenges. When you start initiating the work, you may face challenges step by step. Try to overcome them step by step. It is not necessary that you will overcome the challenges at one, I mean, stroke. You, you may take time. You may take a month or a, even a couple of months to complete your work and overcome the challenges. But Certainly, when you finish your work after overcoming all the obstacles in the path of doing your work, you become a stronger person. There are innumerable examples of the people in this world who have started with zero and they started their work and thinking that they will progress. And eventually they went on step by step and at last they succeeded in their mission. In the same way, students also feel difficulties in, I mean, completing and conceptualizing their syllabus and making well prepared for any exam. For first time, they may, may not be able to succeed in their mission, but the second time, the third time, they should never stop, never give up. Rather, they should try to, I mean, uh, master those portions of the subjects which they feel they, as, an, as a hurdle, as an obstacle. And once they overcome the obstacle of finishing the toughest part of their syllabus, I think they are on the way of knocking at the door of success. And that is what I wanted to emphasize, friend. So try to learn how to overcome the challenges. You will become a stronger person in your life. Thank you. Have a nice day.